Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com. My name is Ramandeep Singh and today we are going to do RBA circulars for the month of October 2024 in MCQ format, right? Very easy to cover. Within like 10-15 minutes, you'll be able to cover all the RBA circulars and I'm going to explain everything in very easy language. Easy language mein karenge, very easy, right? So let's start the session. And before starting, let me tell you this particular video is part of IBPS RRB Scale 2 Scale 3 2025 course. That's what I do. I'm a teacher. I teach on bankexamstudy.com's app and sometimes I post videos on YouTube. And if you like the videos, you can join the course. The courses are very affordable. Uh, I would say the most affordable IBPS RRB Scale 2 course is available on bankexamstudy.com. Most affordable, the best quality and we, uh, we give the maximum results for IBPS RRB Scale 2 and Scale 3. You can ask from your friends, right? So we provide video classes, notes, quizzes, test series and live session. The entire coverage of the syllabus is available, right? So without wasting time, uh, let's move on to the question number one. The interest equalization scheme. There is a circular on interest equalization scheme. It has been extended for another three months now. Okay. So the last date uh, till when uh, the exporters can take benefit under the interest equalization scheme is 31st of December 2024. It has been further extended by three months. Uh, what is the fiscal benefit cap for each MSME exporter under interest equalization scheme for financial year 24-25? It is 50 lakh rupees. MSME exporters can take benefit up to 50 lakh rupees in this year uh, under interest equalization scheme. And according to RBI circular, this is the another circular, RBA circular issued on 10th of October 2024, what ARCs must do regarding the CICs. So they should become the asset reconstruction companies. So ARCs, uh, the asset reconstruction companies, they must become member of credit information companies. Okay. How often ARCs should update information that they collect and maintain? Fortnightly. What do you mean by fortnightly? Uh, fortnightly or shorter interval intervals. Fortnightly means every 15 days, twice a month. Okay. If data submitted by AR ARCs to CICs is rejected, what must ARCs do? Uh, rectify the data and re-upload within seven days. The ARCs they should rectify the data. Uh, the ARCs. Uh, they should rectify the data and they, then they should re-upload within seven days. They need to fix it within seven days. And this is the next circular. We are covering it very quickly. What must payment system participants PSP do according to guidelines issued on 11th of October? They must make their systems uh, friendly for disabled person, for uh, physically uh, disabled person. They, they must make it uh, accessible to them, right? What standards PSPs adhere to for ensuring accessibility? Accessibility standards, uh, guidelines for banking sector. They, sh they must adhere to that. Okay. The revised access criteria for NDS OM. First of all, what is NDS OM? NDS OM is negotiated dealing system order matching segment, right? Let me just write it down for you. NDS OM uh, is negotiated. It's negotiated uh, dealing system order matching segment, right? So what uh, what people are trading on NDS OM government securities. So it's a secondary market uh, for government schemes, right? People can buy or people can sell government, uh, not government scheme, the government securities uh, is uh, securities issued by government these are traded on nds ohm so it's an order matching platform right so rbi is going to provide direct access to regional rural banks local area bank and nbfcs even they can take direct access to nds ohm now right to seek direct access on N nds ohm the entities must have which of the following accounts uh, the subsidiary ledger uh, general subsidiary general ledger account and the current account and current account with RBI and subsidiary general ledger account with RBI, right? Which membership is required for entities to have direct access to NDS own platform 
membership of security settlement segment of clearing corporation of india so uh, to to get the direct access to nds om uh, the the members they should have uh, they should have membership of uh, the c uh, the clearing corporation of india settlement segment of clearing corporation of india what is the minimum net worth requirement for entity seeking authorization at ccp so ccp is central counterparties so what is the minimum net worth requirement for entities who are seeking authorization as central counterparties 300 crore is a minimum net worth requirement okay which type of company uh, must authorize of a, as ccp uh if you want to uh, to get authorized as ccp uh, it should be a public listed company right it should be a public companies limited by shares right public company list uh, limited by shares what must be an authorized ccp uh, submit an audited net worth certificate from the statutory auditor so within 6 months of the financial year closure they must submit the net worth uh, certificate audited by a chartered accountant right who must chair the regulatory compliance committee of ccp and independent director so we have discussed a lot about independent directors in the previous videos i hope you are aware of it what must foreign ccps seek to operate in india they must uh, get approval from rbi right and they can indirectly continue they'll get indirect access that they used to get in the past right So I hope you like the today's session. We try to make everything easy and simple for you. If there is any doubt in your mind, please ask your doubts. IBPS RRB Scale Two and Scale Three 2025 course is available on BankExamsToday.com, in which we are providing video classes, notes, quizzes, uh, test series, and the live sessions. Right? Link to join the course is available in the description. This is our WhatsApp number where you can ask your doubts, and we are going to answer all your doubts. list of our successful students all these students that took our courses in the past and they cracked their respective exams and i'm really really happy for them you can be one of them in the future and you you'll be one of them in the future for sure so that's i guess all for today students thank you and have a very nice day bye bye